Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about introducing chicken back into my diet. I'm what you would call now a former pescatarian. I'm also going to be sharing with you this amazing chicken recipe that has really helped me transition. It's super easy and delicious and I think you'll like it. All right. If you've been following me for a while, thank you so much, by the way. And if you'd like to follow me, you know, just subscribe down below. It's super easy and free. You'll know that like almost two years ago, I became a pescatarian. I made this decision for environmental reasons and it was an easy sort of transition for me. I didn't eat a ton of red meat. Chicken was the hardest thing for me to give up. And in that amount of time, I haven't cheated or anything like that. I really have not had chicken in that long. So another thing you might know about me is I have polycystic ovarian syndrome, also known as PCOS. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a dietitian. I'm just a lady with cysty ovaries who's constantly trying to figure out the best way uh, to sort of manage it. I had mentioned in a video a little while ago that I was really starting to gain a ton of weight. And I was thinking it might have a little bit to do with the fact that people with PCOS often are very sensitive to carbohydrates, um, also can have a little bit of insulin resistance in there. Um, so I knew that the high carb diet I was eating, I was getting most of my protein from beans and lentils and quinoa. It was really hard to get that high protein without all the carbs. So I started thinking about adding chicken back into my diet. I do want to say that I know that it's possible to manage PCOS being a vegan, being a vegetarian, all sorts of like ways to do it. I just know that I was having a very difficult time finding the balance and managing my PCOS with the vegetarian or pescatarian diet. It was just not working out, guys. I gained like 35 pounds in that amount of time. So it actually took me a super long time after thinking about it initially to actually take the plunge and eat some chicken for the first time. So the day I finally decided to go for it, um, we went to one of our favorite restaurants where I normally get a fish basket, which I did get. My husband got the chicken basket, which is one that I used to get in my former life all the time, my favorite chicken. And I just looked over and I was like, all right, I'm just gonna take a bite and see what happens. And I took a bite and it tasted horrible to me. I was like, no, no, this was supposed to be delicious. It was so disappointing that, oh, I thought, how am I ever gonna do this? If one of my favorite types of chicken isn't good to me anymore. It was like really chewy and like, it wasn't good. I preferred the fish all the way. So I decided the next day, all right, if I'm gonna do this, I need to find a way to cook chicken that's going to be really, delicious. So I came up with this uh, roasted veggie and baked chicken recipe and I thought I would share it with you right now. All right, so first of all, I will leave the entire recipe, everything that I'm doing in the description down below in case you want to recreate this. I am going with Brussels sprouts for my veggie today. I love Brussels sprouts. I think they're delicious, but if you're not into sprouts, you could pretty much swap this out with any vegetable of your choice. And I'm only seasoning this with a bit of olive oil, some salt, and some pepper. If you want more spices in there, you can totally do that, but I find that this is just my basic favorite seasonings. As far as chicken, I am using bone-in chicken thighs. They're only 99 cents a pound, so a really good deal. I've also taken the skin off, and to season this, I'm using a few shakes of Worcestershire sauce, probably like a teaspoon. I'm also using one tablespoon of yellow mustard. I'm also using two tablespoons of barbecue sauce, and we're using Sweet Baby Ray's, which is my family's absolute favorite barbecue sauce. I'm also throwing in a little bit of salt, as well as a little bit of pepper. I'm also gonna throw in some onion powder, and a whole lot of paprika. And what meal of mine would not be complete without a heaping spoonful of chopped garlic? And you could double this if you were making like a ton of chicken. I've just got three 
uh, thighs in here. They are pretty big, but you could definitely just, you know, amend this for the amount of chicken that you have. And I'm actually going to use my cast iron today, uh, but you could use just a pan and then transfer it to something um, that's oven safe if you, you know, didn't have cast iron. But I love cooking on cast iron. And I'm actually just going to do this a couple minutes on each side. This will just make the oven time a lot less. And if you did have skin on yours, um, this would also make your skin uh, crispy. Uh, but my husband is just like absolutely opposed to chicken skin. So I take the skin off of all of our chicken. But this is perfect because it's going to um, cook at the same rate then as my vegetables. And I'm just going to fill in the gaps here uh, with my Brussels sprouts. Now I'm gonna put this entire thing in my oven. It is set to 400 degrees and it's gonna take about 40 minutes. All right, while that is cooking, let's talk about the other fun stuff that come with introducing something back in your diet, which I was not super prepared for. So honestly, I really thought that since I wasn't a vegan, I had been eating eggs, I had been eating fish the whole time. I thought that eating chicken would not affect my body really like when it came to how I was like feeling, but I was wrong. And um, I started becoming nauseous almost every like evening before bed. I was starting to get a little bit backed up, if you know what I mean. And I was like, no, I thought this was gonna be easy, but I really just kept with it. And I knew that eventually my body would get used to it again. Um, so for like that first whole two weeks of eating chicken and I was trying to eat it at least once a day, I was like feeling really sick in the evening and I was like so sad. But after about two weeks, it started kind of going away. I started drinking Benefiber in the morning and at night and that really helped with that problem. Um, so eventually it like leveled itself out. I just had to like stick through it. And generally speaking, now that that like nausea is behind me, I feel so much more satisfied after dinner. I feel fuller for longer, all of the benefits of great protein, which of course I was getting from fish but I think chicken is just a little bit more versatile and also much cheaper than fish. Um, so I'm able to eat it like more often than I was eating fish. Cause like you can only have salmon so many nights out of the week. You know what I mean? So I'm not really sure if I'll start like losing all the weight that I gained. That's not like really my goal here. I mean, it would be nice. I'm not going to lie, but, um, I definitely just want to like feel better, get my symptoms in check, which one of the symptoms of PCOS is that great weight gain right around your belly. So obviously that is important to me to address. But anyway, our chicken is just about done. So let's go get it and eat. Seriously, you guys, this looks so beautiful in real life. The sprouts are nice and crisp and the chicken is juicy. Of course, I'm pairing this with a freshly baked loaf of wheat. Um, sourdough bread that I actually baked earlier this morning um, and this is just like a complete meal all in a pan and it's delicious I'm telling you mmm so good the chicken is so juicy and it's got like the perfect amount of flavor um, and those Brussels have a lot of like good juices in them and everything all from being cooked in the same pan. Seriously, this is my favorite way to eat chicken right now. All right, you guys, so moving forward, there's gonna be a lot more chicken content on this channel. You guys know I like to cook and I also like to share recipes, so you can look forward to some chicken recipes coming soon. So please leave me a comment down below. What's your favorite way to cook chicken, to eat chicken? How should I progress with my recipes? Obviously, I used to cook chicken a lot, so it's not like I'm brand new to chicken, but I'm a little bit out of practice. So I would love to hear your suggestions. All right, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mm.